Okay, The Lion's Paw by Jane Wiener Watson and illustrated by Gustav Tenigen. Tenagen. Ow! roared the lion. There is a thorn in my paw. Who will take it out? Not I, said the solid rhinoceros. I'm sharpening my pointed horn. And not I, said the, the startled kudu. I am racing away from here. Not I, whispered the tall giraffe among the tip-top leaves. Not I, said the bouncing baboon. I'm having too much fun. Who will take the thorn out, asked the crown crane. Not I, said the hippopotamus. I'm cooling off in the mud. Ha, <laughs> not I, said the striped zebra. I'm kicking up my heels. And not I, said the bright-eyed monkey. I'm swinging, hoo, hoo, ha, ha, by my tail. Not I, said the big gorilla. I'm scratching away my fleas. And not I, said the elegant gazelle. I'm leaping across the yield. <coughs> Will no one remove the thorn called the ibis by the purple pool? <laughs> not I, said the slippery crocodile, smiling a hungry smile. Not I, said the trumpeting elephant. I'm taking a shower. <laughs> He's taking a shower. Not I, said the spotted leopard. I'm slicking through the shade. And not I, said the solemn buffalo. I have too much work to do. Who will help the lion, cried the ostrich, running over the desert sands. Not I, said the scully caramel. I'm, I'm chewing my curd. And not I, said the swooping vulture. I'm busy hunting a meal. Not I, said the fast cheetah. I'm busy hunting too. I will, said the little mouse. And she did. The end. Hooray, the little mouse took the, the thorn out of the lion's paw. Okay, let's read this one. A little flip book. Let's see what we have here. This is what? This is a cat. This is a cat. This is a dog. Here's a rabbit, kangaroo, and a fish. There's a bear. And here's an iguana, a zebra, a chimpanzee, a tiger, a toad, and an elephant. Here's an apple, some candy, some nuts, some cheese, a chocolate chip cookie, a happy birthday cake, a container of milk, a carrot, a banana, a sandwich, and an egg and a tomato, a car, a teddy bear, a rubber ducky, an airplane, and some blocks, and a doll, and a ball, a piggy bank, some marbles, a red wagon, and a top. What else is on the next page? Ooh, a shirt. Some pants, see we have on pants, a hat, a jacket, a glove, a cap, socks, pajamas, shoes, a dress, a bow, a boot. Who wears a bow in her hair? Minnie Mouse wears a bow in her hair, doesn't she, Dylan? This is a house, a lamp, a couch. A spoon, a cup, a fork, a bowl, a pot, a telephone, and a clock, and a chair. The end. Hooray! That was so nice. Okay, The Hungry Little Caterpillar is our next book. 
Okay, the hungry little caterpillar. Okay. In the light of the moon, a little egg laid on a leaf. <clears throat> One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. And on Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. And on Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. And on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And that night he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and oh, he was a beautiful butterfly. Oh, how wonderful. Okay, pajama time. This one, pajama time. Okay, our favorite book. Pajama time. Okay. The moon is up. It's getting late. Let's get ready to celebrate. It's pajama time. So pull on the bottoms and put on the top. Get yourself, get yourself to pajama de bop. It's pajama time. Now some are old and some are new. Some are red and some are blue. Some are fuzzy and some are not. But we can all pajami in whatever we got. It's pajama time. Oh, yes, it's pajama time. Now, some are pink and some are green, and some are the ugliest you've ever seen. They might be stripy or polka dot, but we can all pajami in whatever we got. It's pajama time. So, pajami to the left and pajami to the right. Jammy, 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 PJ. Everybody's wearing them for dancing tonight. Jammy, 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 PJ. Now all around the room in one big line, wearing our pajamas and looking so fine. It's pajama time. So hop into bed and turn out the light. You can have a party in your dreams tonight. It's pajama time. Hush, hush. It's pajama time. Hush, hush, it's pajama time. Shh, good night and sleep tight. The end. Hooray! How's that, Dylan? Okay, this one now, this is called, Whose Tail Is That? The holy cows are looking for their friends around the yard. If you can name them by their tails, you might not, it might not be so hard. When Doggy finds a bone to hide, he makes his tail wag side to side. And here's another barnyard buddy that loves things that are slightly nutty. <clears throat> it's a squirrel. A little squirrel lives by the trees and stores her nuts beneath the leaves. And now her friend is standing by and waves, wags his tail to shoo a fly. The brown cow moves his tail a lot to cool off when the sun is hot. He sees Henrietta with her pail to feed his friend with a curly tail. Now find other friends in the yard with furry tail or feather. 
See how many you can name and count them all together. One, two, three, four, sheep, cat, horse, and more. Now go back through the book again and find the tale of each new friend. The end. Yay! That was so